In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate percentages in Excel. So let's begin by expanding the width of the first four columns. So here, let's put the month January, February, March, April, May, and June. Let's stop there. And then let's write the sales for that month. But let's insert a column. So this would be the monthly revenue. And then we're going to calculate a percentage of the total. And then the monthly percent changes. So let's say the revenue in January is 15000 And in February, it's 18500 and then in March, it drops to 14200 And then April goes up to, let's say, 16500 And May, it drops to 15250 And June, it goes up to 21400 Now, to get the total, you can write equal, sum, and then parenthesis, Highlight the first six cells, and then close the parenthesis, enter. And so that will give us the total cells for the first six months. And if we want to calculate the average, type in equal, average, and then highlight the values for the first six months. And so that's the average. You can also take the value in B8, the total, and divide it by six months, or just six, and that will give you the same answer. Now granted, the entry here is rounded to the nearest whole number, but as you can see, these are about the same. Now let's say if we wish to calculate the percentage of January's revenue with the total revenue for the six months. So let's highlight uh, this cell, and then let's type in equal then B2, that corresponds to the value in uh, for January's monthly revenue, divided by B8, which represents the total value for those six months, and then enter. So this will give you the percentage as a decimal. And then for the next cell, it's going to be B3 over B8. And then you can repeat the process. B4 over B8. and then B5 over B8. And then the last, I forgot to put the equal sign. Now for the last one, it's going to be equals B7 divided by B8. Now to change this to a percentage, highlight everything in this column, and then right-click it, and then go up where you see this dollar sign, click the arrow, and then more account and formats. And let's go to percentage and let's round it to one decimal place or to the nearest tenth. And so now we have the percentages for each month with respect to the total. So 15,000 out of 100,850 is 14.9%. Now let's talk about the monthly percent changes. So as we go from January to February, we have a percent increase. Let's calculate that percent change. And so highlighting this cell, it's going to be equals, and then the parenthesis, the new value, which is the value for February, that's going to be B3, minus the old value, which is the previous month, January, B2, and then close the parenthesis, divided by. And so this is going to be divided by the original value, which is the value for January, so that's B2. And then, so this will give us a decimal value. And then if you highlight it and click the little button at the bottom right, you can expand it for uh, the next five months. Now let's turn this into a percentage. So right-click it, and then go to this dollar sign, account in number format. And let's change it back to a percentage. 
with one decimal place. And so here we could see that going from January to February, the sales increased, so we have a positive percentage increase of 23.3%. Going from February to March, the revenue decreased, so the percent change has to be negative. And then going from March to April, that was a percent increase, so we can see a positive value. April to May, percent decrease. And so that's how you can use Excel to calculate the percent change going from one month to the next. Or if you wish to calculate the percentage with respect to a total value, uh, you could use the formula that was, uh, we used there. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it gave you a basic understanding of how to calculate percentages within Excel.